What's up, guys? Studio. I didn't see you there. First of all, it's fucking awesome to be back in the studio. Uh, it's been a long time. I've really been looking forward to putting out this record. Carl's an awesome guy. We met him at the uh, Florida Music Festival in Orlando. We were playing, and we went to one of the. They have like you know all these meetings and stuff. And we went and hooked up with him. It sounds great. We're down here in, in Miami at Ocean View Studios with Carl, and uh, it's going real well. He wears these really tight shirts, and uh, we, we love it. <laughs> he actually. I love it when he sings the horn parts because he has got a really high voice and he'll sing it like a like a girl. We're having a great time. He's real meticulous, so it's got to be good, right? Which is important. Carl's. Uh, it seems that he's really quiet, actually. Uh, I expected to uh, to go in there, lay down some tracks, and him yelling at us for screwing up. But he was he was really cool. He uh, he was really laid back, and he, he liked our input as well as you know. He'd like to give input at the same time, which is really good. For him to tell us, hey, you know, we should redo this little part, that's good, you know, because he's, he's in other ears for us to hear things that are bad. So. Just working with Carl in general, I mean, he's a real professional guy, really cool. So what's it like working with 1013 Concept? Great bunch of guys, man. Sounds good. Making a good record, so. Those guys are going places, huh? They are. <laughs> <laughs> um, any tunes that you like more than the other ones, or? Um... Yeah, we talked about it a few too many, I think is pretty great. Yeah, we've actually been uh, doing really good today. I was a little stressed about getting the uh, vocals done in one day, which is kind of quick. But um, yeah, we're doing great. I mean, it's only 6 o'clock, and we got all of them done except one. And we got to watch guys. TRL. That's right. <laughs> Important research, market research. Yeah. All right, seriously, what's on that pad of paper that you, you always jot notes on, and we don't know? They're like secret hate <laughs> right. notes about the Very vocalists. Cool. A little uh, coded message. <laughs> um, Basically what, I, what I'll do is I'll write down the songs that we track vocals on today and uh, little notes of stuff. Um, sometimes it's just what was a good vocal take or um, like in this one song I was thinking about putting bells in a section of it. And, Ooh. Um, Let's talk more about that. <laughs> yeah, this other one has like I'm going to put a little pad in parts and something I need to fix this little part of the guitars that um, I think the second half was better but it's just mostly stuff to edit. You know, just fine tuning and tweaking performances. That's it. I just got done putting out some trombone tracks, which you probably saw. It's a lot harder than it looks, I swear. It's like the first time I've ever been in a studio, so, like, recording for real, so. I had to get used to, like, the, the click track. It was a bitch, because I'm not used to that kind of thing, but it was definitely fun. It gets frustrating at times, because you're, like, you're doing, like, 40 takes of the same one part. You know, you have to keep doing it over and over again. One of these, and two of these. <laughs> I had never experienced that before, never really been in the studio before. The best part of it was probably seeing how everything came together. Here we are at Ocean View Recording Studios. About to throw down some vocals. Yeah, what are you starting with? Three weeks. I want you, I motherfucking need you. Why? Cause, um, cause it's a comfortable song, it's, it's good to start with, dude. It'll, be, it'll set the day off right. How's that? <laughs> Too bad you already have a boyfriend now. Hey, send up. Hey, look, I'm, I'm reading the lyrics off of my lyric sheet here. <laughs> Too bad you already have a boyfriend now. Turn that shit off. The album will be out. It's really flipping awesome. I'm uh, real stoked about it. Those first drum tracks and bass tracks. And Joe had to go, and then finally the fucking king finally got to do his thing, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much the horns rule, you know? It's like, this band's nothing without the brass, you know? It's all about the trombone. <laughs> it's all about the trombone. I will punch you. I 
like all the songs on it. We definitely put our best foot forward. Every song is like totally killer. I wouldn't say I had a favorite song. I, I have like, there's different reasons for liking each song, I think. Like, all the songs are great. I love her song and love a few too many. They're, they're, they're really fun to play and just, like, when I was playing them in the, in the recording, it was just so fun to do my solo for her song and just, even though it took like 20 takes, you know, and just playing all the songs are great. Yesterday we finished up a few too many. Uh, which is going to be really hot. It's kind of like a ballad, but maybe not quite it's slow enough to be considered a ballad. But it's like a tragic song, but uh, it just sounds so good here at the studio. So. A Few Too Many, I think, has the best of the lyrics, um, like meaningful-wise. They they're very like intense. If you actually listen to the lyrics themselves, you, you get a real meaning behind them. My favorite song is Teenage Hottie, actually. She's a teenage girl with a push-up bra she can fool you like she did me. I don't know what to think. Teenage hotties, definitely fast. And there's always teenage hottie, which is everybody's favorite, just because the the topic of discussion in the song is is very it's very humorous. That's not what I'm about anymore. I'm almost 24. Voodoo for Voodoo, I think, is is a really good song that gets people really involved. It's really uh, upbeat, and so like people get into it really, really quickly. The only song I wrote was Voodoo for Voodoo, which of course is the best track. Kind of. Actually, when I first started writing it, I think I was writing it about you know, friends that you lose touch with and like who change when they get into like certain situations. Like once you branch out into like the real world, like. They start growing up into becoming different. Like you see them, I was like, "Nah, this sounds too. This sounds like something completely different than when I started." So it turned into the movie soundtrack song. I never told anybody that. So this is not for sale. This footage, trash it. Separate take that you can hit the high note. Live shows. It's all about live shows. Uh, too many times, I've been to hundreds of shows, and too many times, you know, uh, it just doesn't look like the, the bands are really getting into it and whatnot. So, you know, it's all about the music, you know, you gotta have fun. And uh, I can't say that, I can't. I don't think anyone can ever go to a 1013 concept show and be like, those guys don't love it, what they're doing every second of the day, you know? It's all about <laughs> leaving your heart right there, dude, play your ass off. And, I think it definitely shows. Live shows are definitely probably the best part of being um, in the band. Like just seeing the different fans and how they react to like the different songs and the music. Like after every show, I almost die because I'm uh, dehydrated. I'm so tired and itchy because I have eczema, but I love it. I I'll get off the stage and I'll scratch about ten minutes and I have to say hi to people and you know just be a rock star for the next five minutes before I have to drive home and hate my life. But I love playing shows. We, we pretty much live for the live show. That's pretty much what we do. We feel like we have a stage presence that most people do not have, uh, but it's really, it's just six kids like having a good time, you know, we, we like to entertain, you know, and we like to go crazy, that's our outlet, and uh, it, it's fun, you know, we, we, we love seeing all our old friends and our new fans every time we play show. My favorite song during shows is Unity. Because I know it's the last song in front, I get to sit down right after that, but it's so great just playing.